Hello and welcome to Furry Ears World, where we are back in Project Ozone 2, doing the thing with the thing and the stuff and the thing, and we've made some more machines, two of them, two of them, but that stack's going to get much bigger. We haven't powered them up yet, though. We need to power them up. Just looking over here, this 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 thick old chunk of cable we've got running here, it's now got 27 out of 32 channels. So our ambition of being able to stack these is is kind of kind of on the scuppers because of the amount of capacity we've got left in that uh, we've given ourselves a potential eight on each side but because of, of that issue there we're not going to be able to get eight on each side but we only need five on each side uh, and we got two at the moment so we need like another six um, I just don't think we've got the capacity there I think we've got capacity for five more not six more but we'll see what we can do yeah, it's 27 out of 32. It's a bit tight. Everything's a little bit tight. Uh, but we are going to run another dense ME cable over here at some point in the future. So that's that's fine and dandy. We will be able to increase capacity and maybe hang another, another cable onto that stack from somewhere. Or repurpose something else over here and, and, and kind of take the load off so we can make more capacity. We can do something. We can figure something out. But we've got our power power conduits and I'm glad I managed to catch that. Uh, I want to power it off this line. So I kind of want to bring the power forward to here and then swing it in and then hop it over. Like that. Just so we don't get any interconnections. I don't know why I've chosen that power line. I just feel it was the right power line. Where have we got to go with this? There. Okay, so if we stay low, because there's no point in going up just to come down again. Really, there isn't. And we want it to go up there. Like that. That should be good. That's probably draining the power out of the... Uh, out of the reactor right now because these things these things store a considerable amount of power just on their own merits. Ooh, we got one left. Look at that. We got one left. But now we can order up Invar and Electrum. So, you know, I'm happy about that. Powered up. Excellent. So, I mean, that's 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 kind of a background process. If we come across a recipe that needs Electrum and Invar, it will background that for us. Uh, and that's that's why we did that just so that when we're ordering up the machine frames that we want to order up uh, three more I believe we can do it with impunity uh, we can't power them anymore because we, we, we run out of all the power but let's look what we actually need we're gonna need fluid transposer over there as well um, transposing in something it was it was we're going to need three fluid transposers, I think, set up around here. One to put in redstone, one to put in glowstone, and one to put in resonant ender. There may be others we need, but but f for a base base level system, that will do us. And we're almost certainly going to have to have the dense ME cable over here for that. I might do that between the recording sessions, because we've seen it how you do that. It's just going to be a lot of panels to shield it from from the previous previous attempts so it should be good now that should be powered up right let's have a look at our solar panel recipes I think we're actually getting close to being able to do the solar panels if we can get that top tier solar panel I think that's gonna make more power than the big reactor that top end solar panel <coughs> I think is just gonna belt the power out and and we're just gonna have ridiculous amounts of power being generated by a single block over there uh, I'll have to stick it on some sort of storage device, but maybe a Tesseract and we can dump it into the... I think our big storage thing is going to be hovering in the sky up there. I need to go and do the pigs as well at some point, but there's no rush on that one. Alright, let's have a look at the solar panels. Solar! So, these are the things that we need to make. A mirror is just that. Okay, we can make that. Uh... A mirror, a photovol photovoltaic cell one is is that and that in an induction smelter. This is why we need one induction smelter. Then this is this and this in a, in a induction smelter. Uh, clay is going to be an issue, which we can cope with. I'm not too worried about the clay one. Uh, so that's two induction smelters. This one, I think, is the fluid transposer, and then this one is another induction smelter with blaze rods. 
Blaze rods could be a significant problem. We don't have a lot of blaze rods. I mean, we can go to the nether and get a lot of blaze rods. Certainly with our red matter armor, that's that's not going to be an issue. But there might be a better way of doing that. We might need to just get blaze seeds and farm the nuts out of them. So that's that one. No, that's that one. So we only need three more induction smelters to get these photovoltaic cells in the bag. And then it's just a case of the grind of crafting. Yeah, because we're going to need the system to know how to make redstone energy frames, and enderium resonant energy frames, these things, whatever these things are. That's an item fabricator. Good God. Then these things. Oh my God. Metallogenic infuser. Ugh. Of course we're going to need a lot of metallogenic infusers. Goes without saying, what's this? Dimensional transceiver. Oh my god, look at the things, they're horrible. Look at all of the things. Then that recipe seems generally much easier. And I think it's the constant, that recipe then just goes up. Yeah, it just uses the earlier solar panels in it. So it's kind of like they've, they've made it hideously complicated up till this point, and then they've just made it easier for you. So this is this is as hideously complicated as it gets, and we're going to need to craft quite a few of these to, to cater for the top tier. But once we get this fella, once we get this fella in, I think we're just going to be bosh power. Power, 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 power. So that's, that's the plan. That's the plan. It's not a great plan, but we need two more machiny frames first. Did we make all of the machine frames that we could? I think we did, didn't we? We made five of the... Yeah, so we could do three more. Three more alloy... Uh, no. Induction smelters. That's right. Three more induction smelters. Induction smelter. This is the thing that we need. This one here. Uh, did we tell it how to make Invar gears? I think we did, but if I put this recipe in, it's not going to let me make that, is it? I'm sure it knows how to make Invar gears. Let's have a look. Invar. Invar. No, it doesn't know how to make Invar gears. Why don't you know how to make Invar gears, system? We need, let me see, three more of them. That's six more Invar gears. Okay. Bosh. 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 Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We can only make five. Okay, that's okay. Craft more. Twenty more. Invar. Yep, off you pop. Hopefully that will work now. Yes, it does. Excellent. Pop that in there. And there's our six Invar gears. And that's going to make more Invar for us. Which is excellent because we need it for the recipes. So let's get that and that. And we need one, two, three of them. I won't task this to auto crafting because one more bucket. There we go. Oh, did that? Did that? One, two, three. There we go. We might have five buckets in there now. I don't know. I I honestly don't know. Right, you're gonna let me do this this time. One, two, three. There we go. Perfect. I think we did have five buckets in there now. We may have too many goddamn buckets in the system. That can't be helped. Alright. That, that, and that. Perfect. While we're up here, we can't do that. Okay. It's good to know. Up. There we go. Got it. None input there. A blue input there. There we go. None input there. None input there. And an orange there. Excellent. Then the next one down. Same again. Blue. Nothing. Nothing. Orange. Excellent. It's going... When it goes... When the system works, the system works. It goes fast. It goes effective. You can do stuff. Make achieves really quickly. And that's important. There we go. So that's got... Inputs and outputs, and they will be making our photovoltaic cell thingy-majiggies, won't they? He said knowingly. 
Is that... That's the pattern terminal. So that's just the basic terminal. That's the one. Let us get out of here and... Three of them. And that just that just swamps all of our crafting storage. Which is a little bit a little bit annoying that it just swamps all of the crafting storage. I could easily live without it swamping all of the crafting storage. Um the only way I'm gonna achieve that is to add more crafting storage. So I guess that's that's the way forward. The adding more crafting storage way forward. Good lord, that took a while, didn't it? And we need three of them. Not that we can use three of them, you understand. Um, but but we're gonna we're gonna order them up anyway. We can't actually justifiably use three of these at the moment. There we go. And the ME cable, perfect, perfect. So we need to convert those into smaller ones and slap them up the side like this. Oink. There we go, nicely done. And then this side. Like that. Um, we can put the recipes in on the sides, I guess. But we'll have to manually take out of the top one for the time being. Because that should have maxed the capacity of the system. If we wait for those to go blue... And the ME system does take a while when you when you're working at distances to see everything that's possible. Did they all go blue? I think they did. So this should now be at 32 out of 32. This should be humming, basically. Yes, it is. Nice. So we got that fully loaded. All those machines, these interfaces, and the barrels. It's it's just it's just a massive load on that big cable. I mean, considering where we started with the ME system, it's impressive. It is impressive. I'm not entirely sure how many channels we're using in total, to be honest. Uh, we're putting, what, seven in that side, three in that side. Uh, I fell in some water there. Uh, there's there's going to be some going in that side, but I don't know how much because I can't look at it. It's, what, one, two, three, four, four. Four going in that side. The bottom's dealing with, what, three... And this side's dealing with some. And then that side's dealing with some as well. So yeah, it is we, we are we are, you know, putting a bit of load on the ME system. It's just bubbling along with the right amount of power. The energy acceptor is doing its job. We're pulling a bit more power now. We are pulling a bit more. It's still nothing compared to what, what it could be. But the system seems to work quite happily, so I'm I'm happy with that. We could we could add energy storage to these controllers. Uh, that might be not a bad idea, just so it's got a, an instant hit of power if it needs it. Um, and we might maybe need to upgrade this at some point, so that this can pull more power. Because there's going to be a limit to how much that 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 conduit can actually dump into the system. Right, recipes. I looked at an Enderman, did I? Is he coming or was it a glance? No, nah, he's just mouthing off. He's just mouthing off. He's all he's all shouting, no trousers, that one. I'm not too worried about him. Right, let's have a look at our solar panels again. We're getting it's it's so close, we're actually looking at them quite regularly. That's that's it's good stuff. So we want this one. So it's a mirror. Which we haven't given them recipe for. Oh. Okay. We're going to need another. Another thingy on that, aren't we? Let's get another thingy on that. Uh, molecular assembler. Let's get another molecular assembler interface on that jobby. So we can, we can like, use that a little bit more. In fact, let's make another molecular assembler, shall we? Uh, molecular assembler. These should be able to do that. Just need to put a crafting table in. Quartz glass. I think we have a recipe for quartz glass. Um, we need a formation core, an annihilation core, a crafting table. So let's just throw a crafting table in there. 
Uh, formation core, we need to craft one. Next, start. Annihilation core. Where are you? There you are. Uh, we need just the one of them. Next, craft. And everything else should be wizard bang tickety boo. There we go. Perfect. That's what we wanted. And let's get some interfaces and some cable on this bad boy. Interface. Make me... Let's go with... Four for now. Four interfaces. I think that's, a, that's not an unreasonable amount, I don't think. This, is, this will Im increase our capacity to craft things. And that's important. They do take a while, don't they? It's the processors. It's making the processors takes a wee while. That's always going to be a, a a holding problem. Um, we're we're going to need to kind of think in advance on this and plan things through a little bit more. Because now it's off making... There we go. That's what we wanted. Four of them and some cable. And we need to recraft them, don't we? Straight away so that they actually fit on something. Right, where are we going to stick this bugger? So that's got... 3 out of 32. We kind of want to use the same point somehow. Somehow we want to use the same point. Um, just wondering what we could do here. We could just go straight up. I think that's going to be the best bet. Actually, we want the dents. I'm not sure if we've got enough dents, but we want the dents. If we've got it, we'll use it. We've got ten dents. Okay, that should be enough. That should be sufficient to do what we need to do here. I kind of want to build the next one above this one. Over here sort of thing. And then just isolate it off. So we'll go one more. And then we will switch to the normal cable. We need to actually set ourselves down somewhere. We need to land for a moment. Because we put the cables in the wrong place. Let's get over there. And bip. Bap. So we're going to go sit it on top like that. And then we're just going to surround it. One. Two. Three. And we might put one on top so we've got a window into it. Drop down a little. And then pull the cable up. Pull the cable down the sides. And we've got more... There you go. More capacity for crafting. Fantastic. We could still fit another one or two on that one, but I don't think we should. Have they all gone blue? They all look like they've gone blue. Quick examination. Yes, they have. So now we're running on that top one. 7 out of 32 channels. So we've got additional crafting space up there. That's good. It's actually too high, really, isn't it? We didn't need to go that high with it. But it'll do. It'll do. Excellent. So, I think, from Furrier's world, for now, now that we've got... Come on, show me the molecular assemblers. That many molecular assemblers. That's good. That's good. We're going to go with a cheery old ta-ta.